So a while ago I did a video on the GPA 100 doing a loudness test and I wasn't quite sure on how to approach it so what I did was I downloaded an app just on my phone, the DB meter reader thing. Put it there and gave it a shot. But I actually wasn't that confident even while making the video how precise it would be um, or what you could get out of it. But someone was very cool in the comments to kind of give me a bit of a guideline and a bit of a breakdown on things I could do to, to make it a little bit more um, translatable for not only myself but everyone there. So I take them up on that, uh, on some of the stuff they said, or well, hopefully all of it. Um, and the first thing I did was I went out and got one of these, which looks really rad. Uh, so I'm looking forward to giving this a crack too. Um, so we can get a, a decent, if not precise, uh, loudness of, of how the amp is. And instead of just doing that one amp there again, I thought, let's push it a little bit more. I've got a bunch of other little amps, hopefully they're in frame there, that we can do as well. So the uh, Orange Dark Terror, the Harley Benton Might Mighty 15. Um, I got the Kraken and I got my Angle Amp as well. So I thought let's just put them all uh, side by side and see how they sound. So this isn't like a comparison to see which one's better and which one's not. Uh, no, it's just going to be a matter of let's just see how loud I can get them in this room. And also what I thought was, so I got my Harley Benton 2x12s there. I'm just going to set this up on a little tripod so it doesn't move. And it's going to change each head, make it loud, and that's it. Um, and what I've got here, let's see if I put this in frame enough, it's got a nice little condenser mic that I'll put in the corner of the room, just, just so you can hear what it sounds like. Well, you're not gonna get a good representation because it's not right near, it's loud, but just for something. So while I, uh, you see the meter go off, um, you can hear what I'm actually playing or what I'm doing. And um, I'm just in a mood now just to use the Fortin 33. So everything's gonna be really um, gented up so you've been not so much you've been warned but you know don't don't be surprised when you hear a very very genty sound so let me set all this stuff up let's start recording them back to back and I actually, actually got another idea that might work um, but I'll leave that for the end one so watch through until the very last one uh, for the next probably I don't know probably take about a minute and then we'll have a bit of a chat about it uh, at the end And there we have the loudness test uh, with all these amps put together with one little bonus one, which is a Fender Hot Rod. Um, and boy, is that thing fucking loud. Absolute loud. So, a few disclaimers to run through. Firstly, uh, they're all done in this room and I wore ear protection. So if anyone's dealing with anything above 100 dB, don't be an idiot, like wear, wear ear protection because it's loud. It's very, very loud. So I wrote down the results quickly and we'll just have a quick chat about how I felt, how they went. Um, so, my biggest surprise, I think, was these two. The uh, Orange Dark Terror with the Harley Benton Mighty 15. Uh, because they came in very, very close together, 120 uh, dB when I cranked it. Um, and yeah, oranges are great, they do great stuff. Um, but this thing for its price, really, really uh, smashes it. It does really good. 
Uh, if you've seen any other reviews with this, the only issue I have is it doesn't have much gain on tap. So you do have to chuck a distortion or some boost on it just to give it a little bit of assistance. But loudness wise and quality wise, uh, it is awesome. It is absolutely awesome. Uh, the angle and the crack in here came in very close as well at um, 120, this is 122 for the angle and this is 123. So the crack in just a little bit louder uh, with the setup and that that I had. So with all these, I was running um, my Fortin 33 because I couldn't help myself and hadn't used this in a while and I love this pedal and it's just fun. No other reason than that, it's just fun. Uh, and it doesn't take away any volume either. So that's the main thing as well. Um, so yeah, they, they two, they, I found it interesting that this little box punched out more than this larger box. Um, and yeah, so they're both really good in their own regards and they both have their own different characteristics, which is really, really cool. But yeah, it's just fun to know that this little Kraken does have a lot of, a lot of bite to it, and a lot of punch. Uh, and then we have the GPA 100, which is, my very first video I tried on the loudness test, which uh, I'm feeling this one's turned out to be a lot better. That one came in at 117, which is really cool. Now this one, because it's a, a stage amp type of uh, setup, um, there's nothing on board with it. So no distortion, no nothing. So what I decided to do was to get my uh, solar guitars chug pedal. Because I used it in a video a couple of weeks ago and I had so much fucking fun, I thought why not bring it out again? So I just need to give it a bit of coloring anyway. Um, and that's exactly what they did, and it turned out an absolute treat. Now the Fender coming in at 126, that was crazy. Because if I show you the settings now, um, I'll bring them up. I wasn't even halfway um, in the volume thing. It was like even with my ear protection, it was still starting to get a bit painful um, and extremely sensitive because I couldn't actually get far away enough from the amp before it started just feeding back like crazy. So the only way I could test that outbeat going louder is taking it to some warehouse um, or a large live venue without the audience there to really see how much you can really, really crank so I can get the hell away from the actual amp to be able to utilize uh, its volume. But that is a beast, the Fender Hot Rod, an absolute fucking beast of an amp. I used it 10 years live, so um, I always knew it was loud and it was very sensitive its volume, but I've never tested it like I did today, and oh boy, it is loud. So, to do a conclusion, so firstly, I, as well, this didn't move, as you saw. All they did is just change the head, so we're dealing with the exact same position of where this was, which was about just under two foot from uh, the actual speaker cone. Uh, and it passed the test, which is all of these amps definitely the fucking Fender Hot Rod, but all these five amps, the main ones which I was uh, considering for the video, is over 100 dB. So over 100 dB is good enough for rehearsal, because it's gonna get over an acoustic drum kit, and uh, well over, because this is 117. So 117 is a huge difference compared to 100, because the average acoustic drum kit is 100 dB, um, roughly. So the fact that these all get over there, it's good for rehearsal, which means it's good for live. Because live you're either going to um, hear it on stage or you're going to mic it up anyway but you'll still be able to hear it on stage anyway which is the main thing um, gone to the days where you had to mic up a um, or you needed a amp sorry and combo setup to be able to reach the end of the actual venue everything's mic'd up these days and it should be because you, you want sound control and quality not just blaring it so the person at the very back can hear it and the first 30 rows are just going deaf uh, no, <laughs> it's not how it is these days, not like the 70s. Um, so there you have it, there's our little sound test. Hope you enjoyed it and definitely keen to hear your thoughts on how you felt how it all uh, went and how it did it. Um, now keep in mind, the room mic was just there purely just to have some sound going through so you could hear a bit of my playing while I was capturing it to see the dial move. Um, that was just a condenser mic I just chucked in the, in the corner there just to capture it. Um, but I did have to turn the Fender one down because that, uh, when I had that running, it peaked straight away. So I had to go to my mixing desk and turn that one down, but it was still brutally, brutally loud. So definitely keen for your thoughts in the comments and I thoroughly look forward to chatting with you next time. And until then, stay safe. I feel like I'm a little bit too far away from the camera, my usual uh, goodbye thing here.
but we do what we work with.